are here at KBLV, which is what we're calling Bobo Field. Um, unfortunately, I think our time is very, very limited here. Um, every time I come, the uh, construction equipment back here, you may not be able to see it, gets closer and closer to this field that I'm standing in, which is where we launch. Um, I got to feel a little bit early, and uh, it's windier than forecasted, so I'm going to wait it out. Um, I got trees um, upwind of me, so I'll definitely get rotor if I try to launch right now. Um, and also, the weather kind of looks spotty. It looks like it might rain. So, uh, I thought I would do a quick little video on uh, what I bring to the field with me. So, I get a lot of questions about what gear I have. Um, it's pretty random, usually, but um, I figure why not just go through everything I always bring to the field. I grab the same boxes, same gear, pretty much every time I come to the field. Um, it's not really all that well thought out, but it's what I bring. So, um, yeah, let's check out what I got. film this myself so it's gonna be a little bit difficult but uh, I'll just run through what I have in the bed right now so I always go to the field with my windsock it's just the standard one that you get with Dudek and then I don't know some extendy pole I actually this pole belonged to a buddy of mine and I flew by with my wing too close and broke it shaved two feet off the end of it so I bought it off him it's still pretty tall Hope I didn't break your windsock. That's not mine. Yes, it is. I hit it. You hit my windsock? Yep. <laughs> I got too close. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Hopefully, this isn't too bad. Oh, yeah, it's fucked. This is just what I brought. I was not planning to do this video today, so um, it might be a little bit random. I got this little camera thingy. You put your cell phone in there. It's like an egg timer. You turn it. And it slowly rotates, you get a sweet little time lapse out of it. Um, use that in some of my videos. Cell phone, obviously. This is my kiting harness. I bring this when I think there's a chance of kiting, and sometimes I just throw it anyways, just because you never know. If you can't fly, you might be able to get some kiting in. So that's an APCO First 3. Um, love that kiting harness. Um, got that recommendation from Woody, and I've uh, been really happy with it. Um, next, what's in my flight bag? So, run through this really quick. I've not gone through this bag in a long time so it's probably a bunch of junk in there that I don't need um, but we'll see so I got my helmet first of all <clears throat> I keep my reserve in my flight bag I keep my flight bag inside so the reserve is always stored indoors um, oh yeah my super custom flight shoes I've tried to put this in a bunch of videos but I uh, don't post more videos than I post so I'm meaning I record a lot of stuff and then don't end up posting it but uh, my man Todd Scandrit hooked it up with some amazing custom vans. So he ordered these special for me because they match my wing, which you probably can't see. Oh, you can. That's the Z blade, the orange, black, and gray Z blade. So he bought me shoes to match that. So they'll stay in my flight bag. Those are flying shoes only. Thanks, Todd. Let's see what else we have in here garbage, a selfie stick for selfie activity. Um, what's in here? I don't even know. It's hard to do one-handed. Um, let's see. Oh, an old ram mount thing. Extra zip ties, extra Velcro, and a piece of paracord. So, I use this paracord when I, um, uh, re-install um, my reserve. I forget what that's called, but that's what I used to pull the, uh, the little strings through the holes here. Um, I think that's it for the main thing. Um, yeah, USPPA card. I don't know why that's in there. I think that's an old one. I've got my radio pocket. So in the radio pocket, I got a bunch of two meter radios. I think two or three in there. And um, I have my, my Rexon Bluetooth Airband radio. So um, I actually don't use it all that often because I haven't been flying out of airports recently. But um, always bring it with me just in case. Uh, this pouch. Let's see what we got. Yep. So I got my flotation. Again, this is something I store inside so it stays in my flight bag. That way I remember to bring it inside every single time. It does not subject to the humidity here in South Carolina. Um, I got the charging cable for my heated gloves. 
Um, a little thing, I used, sometimes I throw a GoPro, um, like adapters and things in here, but I've since got a camera bag, so I don't really use it anymore. Probably take that out. Um, my old, when I was a new pilot, I had this pre-flight checklist that I would keep in the pocket of my paramotor. Um, so it was, uh, I had my engine checklist, my wing checklist, takeoff pre-flight, and pack list. So I typed those up myself and uh, I laminated them and I used to keep them in my, um, in my paramotor. So that was a huge help when I started out. Actually kind of cool, I forgot I had that. Um, user manual, another piece of paracord. And that's it for that pocket. This pocket, ugh, get in it. It's just cold leather gear. So I've got um, a pair of goggles, a whole bunch of different gloves, probably stuff I could take out of here. My um, cables for my heated gloves if I want to route them through my jacket. Uh, my heated gloves themselves. And then evidently a smoke bomb, which I did not know I had in there. So cool. Um, oh, this is from when I was going to do my... Uh, um, gender reveal. So evidently this is pink smoke. No, not this one. Oh yeah, because we were not having a girl. <laughs> I forget who drew that. Oh, <laughs> my buddy Hatch drew that actually. Cool. So I got smoke bomb in there. Um, that's it for the flight bag. I got my ppgsmoke.com chase cam. I bring that with me whenever I go. Um, camera bag. So camera bag, I got my little bendy tripod thing. I have my cheap tripod because it's lighter than the nice one, so I just keep that on the bag at all times. In the camera bag, aside from the camera that I have in my hand, which is my main filming camera, shout out to Anthony Vella for hooking it up. Um, I got a whole bunch of GoPro mounts, never know what you might need those for. Charging cables for everything that I have to charge, so this will enough cables to charge my helmet, spare battery, the camera. Um, a whole bunch of stuff. So the helmet's got all this stuff on it that you gotta charge. Um, but I keep all the cables right here so I know I just grab that. Um, a lapel mic because my interview with Andy Bean, although I liked the interview itself, the audio was terrible. So I went out and bought a lapel mic. Too bad I didn't do that before I did the interview. Extra lens and yeah, another charging cable. So that's all I keep in the camera bag. Um, yeah, all right, so hop up here. Oh, oh got the scout which is for sale um, I posted that yesterday actually so if you guys have any questions or you're interested in it uh, let me know um, one bad thing about it was this cage piece here is busted but I ordered a new one for that so um, this will be brand new so don't worry about that anymore um, but yeah if you guys are interested leave a drop a comment contact me on Facebook whatever and uh, we can work something out I used to get a lot of questions about this so this was my um, windsock mount that I built oh it goes on the other side so I built this to fit like that so it clips into my truck like that just drill the hole in the like inside here somewhere this is just a piece of wood that I cut and sanded to fit exactly in there and it's tapered so that it tightens up in there the reason I don't use it anymore is because it was a windy day and it was really hot and this thing got burning hot in the sun and if you look it's bent, so it like, it melted. So I gotta build another one and I'm gonna build it. Yeah, you can see the bend there. But I'm gonna build another one out of galvanized. But it's a sweet little thing, just a piece of all thread. It's bolted on the inside and super handy. Um, this is my tub that I bring every single time. So I just keep this on the shelf next to my paramotor in the garage. And um, just got a whole bunch of junk in here, so. Uh, I got funnel for fuel if you need it. I used to use this in the mini plane more, the Scout I can access. Um, another windsock mount that I built. This one I use all the time. Uh, this one just goes right into the ground. Um, works at the beach, works on the ground. Um, emergency toolkit. So if I'm going on a long XC, uh, there's enough tools in here to uh, basically uh, do whatever you need to do on the paramotor in a, in, a, in a bind. So I'll throw that in the paramotor if I need to. Extra spark plug. Um, oil measuring thingy, um, bunch of oil, uh, gorilla tape because, uh, you know, um, <laughs> funny story. So I bought these, I was going to do a high altitude run, and I haven't done it yet because I just haven't had the right day, but I'm going to bring up this supplemental oxygen. I don't know if it works, I don't know anything about this, but this is a can of air. So I have three of these just in case. 
um, rappel because where I fly, tons of mosquitoes, sunscreen, and then a toolbox. I'm not going to go through all the tools, but it's just your standard toolbox. I got a ton of paramotor spare parts in here, um, a bunch of spare pulleys and whatnot. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. And then my fuel can. So, that is everything I bring to the field with me when I go. When I go through it like that, it seems like a lot, but um, really I keep everything in that tub. That flight bag is always packed, ready to go, as is the camera bag. I keep all that stuff inside in a spare bedroom, and then I just uh, grab it and go. So, um, it's still pretty windy. Uh, it's a, kind of a shitty windsock, but you can kind of see, and it's kind of gusty. But I do have my wing set up. I brought my other wing, which I'll just tell you guys what it is at this point. I bought a... Um, 15 meter free ride so that's this wing here um, and it is amazing I did a first impressions video but I was so astounded by the way it flew I went back and looked at the video and I was just saying a bunch of dumb stuff I, I don't know it just it didn't make sense I didn't want to release it um, I was really just really left speechless about uh, how it flew so first couple of flights on it it was it was ballistic was the best way I heard someone put it and um, I'm really getting used to it now and it's a blast to fly so um, but I really don't like to fly it in windy conditions like this or anything that's not perfect um, the wing handles amazing but being such a small wing and me being so heavily loaded on it um, a collapse would likely be really violent on it and I don't have any SIV courses and I really only know the theory about how to recover from a collapse so um, I don't fly it in bad weather, and it's not it's not good enough weather today to fly. So, uh, and my work backpack, but it's just because I came right from work. Yep. So that's everything I bring to the field. Um, the wind actually is dying down a little bit now, so um, I'm gonna s finish getting set up and um, try to get in the air. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I waited out a little bit longer. I don't know. Oh, dig this bald eagle. Way. I'm not gonna be able to get it with this short lens. It's in the trees. Right in the middle of that frame, there's a bald eagle. There's a ton of bald eagles around here. It's pretty badass. All right, that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, all that jazz. And um, again, I post more on Instagram than I do on YouTube because it takes me so long to edit these videos. So uh, if you want faster updates, look me up on Instagram, just at Tom Kubot. So uh, yeah, see you guys.